Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super React Bros. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the newest death battle, which is between Mewtwo and Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Now, I believe, if I'm right, Shadow did do a death battle before, I forgot who against who and won. Mm -hmm. I really blame him who he took on before, but this time we have Mewtwo versus Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, I'm... I really don't know who's gonna win. So it's, it's difficult to say because they both had those type of abilities where they can one could take the battle a bit better than the other. Because um, one, you, of course, Mewtwo is more like a, that psychic, that powerful psychic Pokemon. While you got Shadow, who was pretty much genetically built by Robotnik. You know, in a way, it's like a dark version of Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, but it's just that you know, there's a few, few uh, there's a few differences here and there. But besides that, it's like he's got extra abilities and stuff like that. Like. Like, I know he's got chaos power or something like that. Mm -hmm. He could, and he can manip also manipulate, was it, uh, time and stuff like that. When he, yeah, he chaos can, control. Chaos control, yeah. So, it's hard to tell who's going to win in this one. Um, I I really don't know. It could go either way. I mean, both are it's great. Like, yeah, it, it, it's our same opinion with the Sweet Tooth Joker about. We don't know. It could go either way, so. But still, though, it's, it's, it's one of those matches where it's like, who can win, you know? <laughs> you got these two powerful uh, uh, characters. Yeah. So, I mean, do you have any thoughts? I mean, no, I, I really don't. Like I said, one's a powerful psychic, one's a power genetically modified, fast as hell hedgehog who has time control powers. And you can skate really fast, too. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, you said moving really fast, so. Skate also really fast as well. Somehow they have skates to him, so. So let's check it out. Yeah. So, here we go. death battle, our combatants are always extraordinary in one way or another, whether they're a superhero or a plumber. But these two are literally built to show up the rest of their kind. Mewtwo, the genetically engineered Pokemon, Dude, that's what it is, and the Shadow the Hedgehog, engineer. the ultimate life form. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Fuji was working to create a brand new life form which would change the world. That's great and all, but he had something else in mind. Fuji hoped his experiments would help him discover a way to resurrect the person he cherished most, his deceased daughter, Amber. With unlimited resources funded by mob money, he figured out how to clone his daughter's <laughs> so consciousness. Because science! But before he could finish, he had to create the most powerful Pokémon, a clone of the legendary Mew. And he named him... Mewtwo. Yeah, Fuji wasn't very creative when it comes to naming, but when you can create a new life form with nothing but a fossilized eyelash, you know you're a master of genetic engineering. A field I'd love to get more experience in myself. Don't do a thousand times, Wiz! You're not gonna alter my DNA! Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? I would never do that. Always watching, Wiz. Always. Always. Growing up in a test tube, Mewtwo's only companions were Fuji's other test subjects, including Amber herself, through some sort of psychic link. Amber taught Mewtwo about the sun, the moon, tears, and, you know, life stuff. Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, he died that. for good right in front Air of him. Worrying this may be yeah. mentally no, dramatic no. for the still-infant Mewtwo, Dr. Fuji's team erased all memory of her. Unfortunately, this left Mewtwo with a feeling of loss and confusion, and no memories to explain why. With nothing else to do, Mewtwo decided to take out all his aggression on all of humanity. And then he turned some stupid kid into stone, a bunch of Pokemon cried, and Mewtwo figured out humans aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Mewtwo is one of the most powerful psychic-type Pokemon, defeating its foes with the power of its mind. Hey, right, wait a minute, you keep calling him it. Is Mewtwo a guy or girl? Well, neither. Technically, it's genderless. Oh, how does it bang? It doesn't. Yeah, it's the bang. Well, one thing's for sure, it's got balls uh, of ghost energy that blow holes in stadiums, uh, and an onslaught of undodgeable stars, multiple types of defensive shields, and a healing ability for when those shields don't quite cut it. Alongside its other abilities, Mewtwo's favorite move is Psychic, a powerful form of telekinesis. With it, Mewtwo can effortlessly send enemies as heavy as a 500-pound onyx flying through the air. He can even make himself fly like a Zubat out of hell. 
Also, it can augment its melee combat with psychic energy or occasionally a massive spoon. Would you say he sometimes spoons his enemies? No, nothing about the two is cuddly. Especially when it uses Hyper Beam or Psy Strike. Attacks so strong they can incapacitate the toughest of Pokémon in a single hit. And when trouble comes a knocking, Mewtwo enters the door with a badass Mega Evolution. Mewtwo is one of the few Pokémon capable of Mega Evolving without the assistance of a trainer. As Mega Mewtwo Y, it gains enormous boost oh, okay. in strength, defense, yeah. and speed. I didn't know about Mewtwo that. Mewtwo powerful yeah, enough has to fly into Mewtwo space Mewtwo. while carrying a robot bug monster. Fast enough to breach escape velocity over 25,000 miles per hour, over 32 times the speed of sound. So, really, really fast. Really. Mewtwo is so skilled in its psychic prowess, it can wipe specific memories from dozens of people at once. On top of all that, it can survive a massive amount of abuse. Like the time it got double impaled by an alien Pokemon's tentacles. Didn't they censor that? It effortlessly defeated most of the Pokemon Champions team, including a legendary Articuno. It also teleported an entire crater lake from the top of Mount Kena. This lake is comparable to a similar body of water in the real world, Lake Kilatoa, which holds over 385 million tons of water. Wow! That's almost enough power to lift my ex-wife on buffet day! Being a psychic Pokémon, E2 <laughs> is naturally weak to bug, ghost, and dark-type damage. Strange Dr. Fuji didn't pull that code out of his DNA, but whatever. Hey, you gotta have some sort of failsafe when you're making the world's most powerful Pokémon. Ah, uh, yes, the ultimate failsafe against the most powerful psychic Pokémon. Bugs! Oh, God, it's a Caterpie! Get it away, it's spooky! I was not born a Pokémon, I was created. And my creators have used and betrayed me. So, I stand alone. Next. Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Professor Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Sonic's forever balding nemesis, worked to create a new life form which would change the world. It was called... Project Shadow, a covert government operation to discover the secret to immortality. Besides, you know, like diet and exercise, cause fuck that. <laughs> Charles Jackson <Jesus. laughs> sent him for his granddaughter Maria, who was dying as a result of neuroimmune deficiency syndrome. Now that I think about it, Project Shadow is a pretty scary name for a program that's all about curing diseases and saving humanity. Maybe it has something yeah. to do with the program's secret pact with a hive mind alien race called the Black Arms. Perhaps. Okay. So what do you get when you take immortality, the cure of all diseases, aliens, and put them all together to make the ultimate life form? You get... a hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog was the first step toward a perfect future. And during his time in Gerald's space laboratory, Shadow and Maria grew very close. Until they were separated by a bullet. Turns out the governments of the world weren't too fond of all the evil alien business, nope. so they stormed the place, captured Shadow, and killed Maria right in front of him. Fifty years later, Shadow escaped and decided to take his revenge by just killing everyone. Until he remembered Maria's last words were pretty much, Don't be a dick, so he changed it. <laughs> Don't be a dick. He decided good, Shadow dedicated himself to protecting the world from the forces of evil. Turns out fighting the bad guys isn't too hard when you've got super strength, super speed, helped along by some haunts of rocket shoes, and a bucket of deadly chaos powers. By channeling the potentially unlimited power of the Chaos Emeralds, Shadow can enhance physical attacks, heal over time, and strike with powerful energy blasts. And with the power of Chaos Control, he can warp through space and distort time, slowing it down to a crawl, or with enough power, freezing it completely. He's got so much power, he can only contain it all with two inhibitor rings around his wrists. Unless he gets all seven Chaos Emeralds, which he can use to transform into a Super Saiyan Shadow. Super Shadow, yeah. As Super, Super Saiyan Shadow, Shadow, he is completely invulnerable, can move at the speed of light, and has unlimited access to the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Enough power to stop the space colony arc's collision with Earth, and to teleport a giant comet the size of a city. Assuming this rock is half hollow, and using the density of concrete as minimum base, this black comet must weigh at least 915 million tons. Even without his super form, Shadow is powerful enough to wipe out an entire alien fleet in one blast. 
fast enough to reach hypersonic speeds and strong enough to play tug-of-war with a giant space monster who is so big he uses a planet a tenth the size of our moon as a chair. Naturally, when you've got this much power, Damn. you're probably a cocky dick. Yes, Shadow is excessively overconfident in his abilities. Also, he has a terrible memory. This guy has spent most of his life wondering who the hell he is. And even when he does remember, he usually winds up losing his memories later anyway. To be fair, if I fell from outer space and all I lost were my memories, I'd consider it a really good day. <laughs> I mean, I lose them from just falling over at the bar. That's probably not because of the fall. Also, we can't forget that the Super Shadow form only lasts so long. Then again, when you move at light speed and have control over space and time, who cares about time limits? Not usually a problem for the ultimate life form. Many years ago, Professor Gerald Robotnik endowed me with the power of chaos control. A normal creature like yourself doesn't stand a chance against me. Alright, the combatants hey. are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death so hard battle! Decision. Very hard decision. I know not its name, but it is black, red, and very annoying. Fuck! Here we go! Stop you! Another gem? What's he doing? Chaos! I must know! No! Control! Try, monster, but you're done! Too much! Chaos! Not this time. outside help to recover. Even while Super Shadow was physically invulnerable, this form didn't protect his mind. Like that time he fell from space, and then the worst game ever happened. Yeah, Shadow yeah, was good for you, Spooner or later. Spooner is yeah. Mewtwo. Okay, let's see. Alright, who's, no, who's the first contestant? Who's the first contestant? Next time, the next time. Death Battle!
Oh god. Oh man. no. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what in a fight between Carolina and the Meta? So the first one is in the uh, Master Chief. No. Hang on. No. Only hopeless nerds on the internet care about that kind of crap. Uh, yeah. Why do you think I'm asking you? <laughs> It's a red versus. It'd be totally badass. Hey guys, I'm Chad at Boom Stick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiz, and next time on Death Battle, we've got something very special planned. So stay tuned. We'll be announcing so, it. So, oh, so gosh. it's a red versus blue death battle. Yeah, red versus blue death battle, but with who? That's the question. Is that another type of type of uh, channel yeah. series? That's what it seems like. Yeah. But um, but um, other than that um. Yeah, I kind of got, got when he said he yeah, has really a memory loss. And then, like, then Shadow you know, has memory loss issues. I'm like, yeah, fucking Shadow's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked because if, if, if Mewtwo can get into his head to, or even do something to his that mind. Was, yeah, that was one of the shorter death battles I've seen in quite a while. Go right through it. it and right the death there. by a giant spoon was out. I thought it was going to go any other way, but of course the ass end of the spoon was still due. But other than that, it was a fine death battle and... You know, both are extremely powerful, but one has really bad memory loss. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for the memory loss, I think it would still would have gone to... Uh, no, no, I think if it wasn't for the memory loss issues, it probably would have been closer than it was. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a much more closer battle between them, but, um, I mean, even though uh, Mewtwo most likely probably would have won this one, either which way, with or without the memory loss. But, um, but still, it was a good matchup, uh... <laughs> Still gets me with the death by spoon. That's that's yeah. That just gets me there. Um, this is it's just like wow. But um, uh, other, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Definitely a very interesting one. So other than that, uh, it was good. Um, curious to see where they're gonna go with this whole red versus blue death battle special. Oh yeah, definitely want to see how so, this is gonna go. And it, it's gonna be. That's what it feels like. It's gonna. It seems feels like this one's gonna be the next one for red versus blue. Uh, it's going to be going up against another type of popular series. That's what it yeah. seems like they're going to be doing. So it'll be interesting. I definitely, yeah, definitely. Want my see, can't wait to find out who they're facing and who they're up against. But uh, yeah, until, uh, was it next month? <laughs> I believe so. I said July 30th, so by the end of this month. Yeah, so pretty much at the end of this month, yeah. So. so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to see any of our previous videos that we've done in the past, that, you know, click down below, check us out, so we've been up to lately, and anything else, if you, especially if you're new, check us out. Today's episode question, of course, is what do you think of this death battle? That's a generic question. It is a generic question, but it makes a lot of sense, considering that we didn't, we didn't know. I'm going to make a more, more interesting question. Okay. Okay. It is not only yes... Who do you think, uh, you know, who do you think should have won? Or if they did choose the right one. Uh, but also, you know, explain yourself. You know, especially if it's, if you think uh, Shadow should have won, definitely explain, you know, why he should have won. I mean, yeah. what, what, you know, I would like to hear other people's thoughts. I mean, for us, for, from the way they described everything, it was really spot on. It's especially when they mentioned the Marie Loss, I was like, that's going to come in at some point. That's going to, it's going to kill Shadow there. And yeah. I was, you know, in the back of my mind, I was like, yep, I was right. There we go. So, this, like I said, comment down below. Check it out. Other than that, I'm Fox. I'm Bruce. And that's been a very death battle-filled episode of SRB. See ya! Later.